talk a little presidential politics because the two vice presidential candidates are just hours away from their first debate. That's right. They're going head to head. Let's check in with Good Day's Robert Moses. He joins us in studio with what we can expect from tonight's debate. Robert, good morning. To Shawnee and Dan, good morning to you. Expect animals to make multiple appearances, as in J.D. Vance's lament in 2021 that the country was being run by childless cat ladies and his baseless claim this summer that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, are eating their neighbor's pets. Typically, debates among vice presidential candidates don't really garner much attention, but this one feels different. The 90-minute CBS News vice presidential debate, the only one scheduled between Ohio Senator J.D. Vance and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, takes place at the CBS Broadcast Center on the west side. It begins at 9 p.m. and will be simulcast here on Fox 5. As was the case with the two presidential debates, there will be no audience watching in person tonight and no opening statements. There is, however, one big difference. A candidate's microphone will not be muted when his opponent speaks, though CBS says it reserves the right to turn off microphones. Vance will stand behind a lectern on the left side of viewer screens, walls on the right. Candidates get two minutes to answer a question, two minutes to respond, and one minute for rebuttals. At the discretion of moderators Nora O'Donnell and Margaret Brennan, a candidate may get another minute to continue a discussion. Thanks to a virtual coin toss, Vance gets the last word since he will deliver his closing statement second. Before the debate, former President Donald Trump will make two campaign stops in Wisconsin. Yesterday, he surveyed the damage from Hurricane Helene in Valdosta, Georgia. He accused President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris of being missing in action and purposely neglecting Republican areas. The federal government is not being responsive, but they're having a very hard time getting the, uh, getting the president on the phone. He won't get on, and of course, the vice president out someplace campaigning uh, looking for money. President Biden, who plans to travel to hard-hit North Carolina tomorrow, said that he actually spoke with Georgia's Republican Governor Brian Kemp on multiple occasions. He dismissed the former president's allegations. He's lying, and the governor told him he was lying. The governor told me he was lying. I've spoken to the governor, I've spent time with him, and he told me he's lying. I don't know why he does this. And the reason I get so angry about it, I don't care about what he says about me, but I care what he, what he communicates to them people in the, that are in need. He implies that we're not doing everything possible. We are. Back to the debate tonight. Even if you don't care about it, it may very well affect your commute. Expect gridlock on the west side as the motorcades come and go from the CBS Broadcast Center. So plan accordingly. You may want to leave that car at home. Tashani and Dan, back to you. All right, Robert, thank you.